What is critical race theory? Critical race theory is a framework in the area of social sciences. Here are some examples. Will you be my wife? I would love to be your wife. I think we should have a ceremony and we can get a priest. I'll ask Mrs. Garner for her opinion. <laughs> Hallie and I want to be married. So I have heard. He's a good man. He is. Can we have a ceremony? A wedding? You're so sweet. <laughs> How does this relate to critical race theory? In this scene where Setha chooses Holly as her husband, elements of racial ingenuity and black separatism are being demonstrated. Although Setha cannot partake in a marital ceremony based solely on the fact that she's an African American, she takes that situation and turns it in her favor by advancing her pursuit of a relationship with Holly. Her audacious actions in a quest for a greater autonomy centralized by the desire for freedom. I just ate and can't hold another bite. I'm full goddamn of two boys with mossy teeth, one sucking on my breast and the other holding me down. Their book reading teacher watching and writing it up. I'm still full of that, goddamn it. I can't go back and add more. Add my husband to it, watching above me in the loft, hiding close by, the one place he thought no one would look for him, looking down on what I, could, I couldn't look at at all, and not stopping them, looking and letting it happen. But my greedy brain, brain says, Oh, thanks. I'd love more, so I add more. And no sooner than I do, there is no stopping. There's also my husband squatting by the churn, smearing the butter, as well as its clabber all over his face, because the milk they took is on his mind. And as far as he's concerned, the world may as well know it. And if he was that broken then, then he is also uncertainly dead now. How does this relate to critical race theory? Microaggression is an essential component, component to critical race theory because it marginalizes the degradation of grasping relation to race. As we have observed in this scene of Beloved, the molestation of Setho while Holly watches acts as a centripetal force for essentialism, the philosophy where actions that mar everyday life cause a deconstruction of identity. This relates to critical race theory because it highlights aspects of white supremacy and power while also downsizing the African American community. Wait, could we? You guys have too much sleep, too much food, and too much rest. What would I have been anyway before Sweet Home without Garner? in Sixo's country or his mother's, or God help him on the boat. Did a white man saying it make it so? Suppose Garner woke up one morning and changed his mind, took the word away. Would they have run then? And if he didn't, would the Pauls have stayed there all their lives? Why do the brothers need the one whole night to decide?
This scene relates to critical race theory in a variety of ways. First of all, Sweet Home represents a sheltered society because Mr. Gardner continually refers to the slaves as men, whereas outside of Sweet Home they were nothing more than slaves, sometimes not even considered people. Second of all, Mr. Gardner provides the slaves with a respectable identity, connecting to the idea of essentialism. Thirdly, Mr. Gardner's death, Paul, after Mr. Gardner's death, Paul D. begins to question all that Gardner has taught him. He begins to believe that racism is not as justified as Gardner previously described. For the first time, Paul D. is thinking for himself. This shows a critical question critics often ponder. What would white people be if not for the degradation of African American culture? Additionally, after Gardner passes away, school teacher takes over the farm and begins to mistreat the slaves. This reinforces the idea that slaves always have and always will be suppressed in society, both in the past and in the present. This idea is another major tenet of the critical race theory. Okay class, so can anyone tell me what critical race theory is? Critical race theory is a framework in the area of social sciences that is focused on the application of critical theory. It is a critical examination of society and culture to the intersection of race, law, and power. Good. So does anyone know what the major elements of critical race theory are? The key elements of critical race theory are white supremacy, black separatism and nationalism, and microaggression, which is the degradation of any marginalized group, which illustrates essential living philosophy. That's correct. Okay, so does anyone know the key tenets of critical race theory? Critical race theory does three big things. It challenges a historicism. It states the idea that racism is a part of society today as well as in the past. And it um, says that social issues in society are said to be suppressed and society tries to cover them up by saying they are non-existent. That's correct. Good job, class. Amy notices Setha's scars before she gives birth. The scars on her back represent another area of microaggression. They constantly remind her of her past torture and hardships. When Amy notices them, she is exposed to the true horrors faced by African Americans. How does this relate to critical race theory? In this scene, Amy Denver helps deliver Setha's baby. Amy Denver is a white woman and does not hesitate to help Setha even though she's an African American. This demonstrates a transformation between African Americans and the rules that are placed in society. This symbolizes anti-subordination and racial emancipation. Night symbolizes darkness, fear, and evils. The scene takes place in the night. Amy Denver's fear connects to the fear of black people who are symbolized by the night. This shows the underlying, underlying idea that in today's society, people fear what is known and what is considered different. Critics of critical race theory often believe this to be a fundamental basis of oppression and subordination. Will you marry me? I will marry you. <laughs>